Hey everyone, so welcome to the channel. Um, good news is that we have some clear skies for the first time in probably about three weeks now. So I've decided to get the rig out tonight. Um, I think we're supposed to have about maybe two hours, three hours tonight, and then hopefully an even longer um, stretch tomorrow. So I've picked out a target um, and I've decided I'm gonna have a go at the Triffid. Um, I've never had, I've never tried that one before and it looks a really, really nice target. So yeah, um, all being well, we'll get a bit of clear skies tonight and make a start on it and then try and get um, a few more hours tomorrow and hopefully get maybe something in the region of five to six hours on this target and see how we go. But yeah, I'm just happy to be outside, to be honest. Um, these last, um, yeah, these last few weeks, it's been rain and clouds, um, and I've had my rig out um, probably around four or five times, and within half an hour, an hour, it's uh, all clouded over again. Um, so, yeah, just nice to be out. There is about half moon tonight, but I've got the Ellen Hans filter. Um, I'll stick that in, and um, I'm going to take what I can get, to be honest, at the moment. That's just the way it's... It's just the way it's been going at the moment. Yeah, so I've got the usual rig, but I do have one addition. I've got the um, ZWO autofocuser. So that's a new addition to my rig, which is here. Um, so I'm looking forward to using that for the first time tonight. Um, it's the first time I've had an autofocuser, so that's gonna be really nice not to have to check my focus and um, with the baton off mask every time. Not that it's a big problem, but it's just nice to have. Um, same old rig for anybody that's new to the channel. So I've got the um, ASI 2600MC Pro, which is a colour, one-shot colour camera. I've got the ZWO 120, which is onto a 60mm SV Boney um, guide scope. And then that's an 80mm um, refractor that's there which is a triplet as well. And then on top of that, I've actually got the little four port dew heater here, um, which actually has also got two 12 volt DC outputs on it. So that actually powers also, that powers my mount and it also powers my camera, which is nice because it means I only have to have the one cable going out from this for my power down into my little lithium power box down here. Um, so yeah, it's really handy. It just keeps it, keeps the power sources down to just one, which is nice. And then on top of that, down here, you'll see I've got my little um, USB hub here, which is a powered hub. And um, what I'll do is I'll connect that to a long USB 3 powered cable, and that will then basically connect to my desktop in my garage. So pretty much means I can control it from inside the house. So that's pretty much the setup. So yeah. Wow, I can actually see some stars. Such a novelty. Oh, it feels like it's been so long since I've seen any stars. So it's only about 6.15, 6.30 now. Um, but already got the Southern Cross out, Sirius, Canopus are out. So as soon as it gets just a little bit darker, I'll polar align, get on with the um, polar align routine. And then I will hop inside and we'll get centered on our target and we'll make a start on the Triffid. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to it tonight. So hopefully you can stay along and come along for this little journey tonight and hopefully have a bit of fun with me as well. Oh. Clear skies. All right, so that's polar alignment sorted out. And just for anybody new like me, once you've got um, a guide camera and a guide scope and you've got software like SharpCap, your polar alignment literally comes down to about two or three minutes. So. Um, definitely well worth investing in. 
All right. So we've done that stage now. So what I'm actually going to do is I can stop all this now, stop that routine. I'm actually going to disconnect everything because I've just connected this temporarily outside early. It's like, it's not even seven o'clock. Um, so what I'm going to do now is literally disconnect everything. Like that. I'm now going to take my USB cable out because all I really need this for is just doing my polar alignment because I need to be at the um, scope. And I've got my USB 3 extender cable here, which is leading into the garage. And that's ready to go now. Okay. I nearly forgot to put my filter in, so let's get that in. I was doing a Galaxy last time, so that's why I'd not put this in. Okay, it's all good. Okay, there we go. Alright guys, so it's continuing to look good, so I'm going to leave it for about another hour until we're fully dark and hopefully we can get into some imaging, so good stuff. guys so it's been about two and a half hours now three hours since I started um, and unfortunately it has started to cloud over um, so it's supposed to clear in about an hour or two so we'll just see how it goes um, but it's also supposed to be a lot clearer tomorrow night so hopefully between tonight and tomorrow night I should be able to get enough data, fingers crossed, on this target. Hey, so while I'm here and it's cloudy, I just want to recommend a couple of channels to you. Um, ben from Cosmos Astrophotography, it's a UK channel. He's just set up with like a new NEQ 6 mount and I think a Skywatcher 120 we've got going. Um, so Ben's been um, at it a few months, a bit like myself, and um, yeah, it's got some good content on there and it's just good to see his journey and how he's going. And also um, Caleb from Astro Crony, he's got a great little channel. Um, Caleb's got um, really good attitude, lots of enthusiasm and um, it's just fun to follow his nights out and um, see what he's, see what he's um, taking. So a couple of good channels anyway if you want to have a look. Anyway, hopefully this weather will pass soon and I can get back into it. The sky's actually cleared, it's just gone midnight and the sky's cleared again and I've just got my first sub in of Triffid and it's looking pretty good. I um, didn't expect it to be quite so good on a single exposure so I'm pretty optimistic um, at getting a good, a good image out of this one. 
So I'm going to keep going as long as I can. It's 12 o'clock now. Keep going, maybe um, get a couple of hours in tonight. And then if it's going to be clear again tomorrow, I'll try and add some more data to it. But um, yeah, pretty optimistic about this one, guys. So thanks very much as usual for joining. I hope you've um, got something out of the night. I hope you've enjoyed it a little bit. Um, always appreciate people who subscribe to the channel and um, always appreciate any any comments that you leave so thanks a lot for joining me and i'll um i'll see you on the next um imaging session all right catch you later <laughs>